Hello everyone, I've got another Indie Box unboxing video. How exciting. Um, I haven't even played the last Indie Box game that I got. I, it was called Discourse, and yeah, I was supposed to upload some um, gameplay footage. I've been too far too busy to even play it, but oh well, let's see what this one is. <laughs> um, oh, Captain Forever Remix. Never heard of it yet again. Another game I've never heard of. Glow in the Dark Serial. Awesome, awesome game. Free prizes inside. Nine essential planets and minerals. Well, this certainly looks interesting from the artwork. I like the box. Made out like a cereal box. Total fun. 1000 grams. Saturated phone, 100 grams. Lasers. Salt cereal. 90s. DRM zero grams, glad to hear it. Build your ship bit by bit, plunder enemies for new parts, choose your tools. This sounds more like my kind of thing. If it really is building ships. Oh wow. Oh, I thought that was maybe the game and it was uh, a sort of Dungeons and Dragons sort of thing, but no. <laughs> to me that looked like um you know when you get those games Dungeon Dragon maps where you You've got like the little board pieces. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, that's just a maze, but that's cool anyway. <laughs> hey kids, played exciting maze across the solar system. Can you help Captain Forever get to for Kevin's? So I, I know when I read these things out loud, I mumble and you can't actually hear what I'm saying, so I'm not even going to bother. Number 0579 of 1600. Ingredients, spaceships, modular building, roguelike. Yeah, randomly generated enemies. Um, contains nostalgic ingredients. Gameplay using the product contains traces of recycled weapons. Cool. Well, I don't know if you can read that because of the sunlight. It's bloody boiling today. Absolutely roasted. I can't stand the heat. I wish we'd have a nice dreary, um, a nice dreary day. Good British weather. There's my steam code. You can steal that right now. Go and try and put it in on Steam. You can steal my game from me before I get to install it on Steam. Not really. I'll have put it in before this game, up, this video uploads. So give it a go if you want. Try it. Maybe I'll have forgotten and you can steal my game. Who knows? Yeah, this sounds more like my thing. Roguelike shipbuilding. Interesting. Uh, the last one, Discourse. I don't know why they... they the idea of it didn't appeal to me that much and I never ended up playing it. I mean, I will, but it sounded like a sort of um, adventure game, which I'm, I've never really been a big fan of adventure games. Uh, I suppose I should actually give it a go before I start judging it on this one. Um, let's have a look. Oh my god, these things. I've just seen something. It did say contains nostalgia. I've just seen something which I haven't seen since I was tiny. Oh my god, these things. I haven't seen these since like the 80s or something. I'm sure they were around. I'm sure they're around. Hell yeah. I used to love these things. They look like little Johnnies. Oh! That's gone up on the floor. Oh my god. I don't even know what these things are called. <laughs> so yeah, you just turn them inside out and then they pop. I used to have all sorts. I used to have these big massive, I had a big massive rubber one with a, you could stick a big person's head on the top of it. Yeah. Oh god, this is good already. I'm liking this. And there's the game. Let's have a look at it. Cool artwork, I like that. Kind of almost, I don't know what to describe it. Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, Ren and Stimpy. Well, not really Ren and Stimpy. But cool artwork. I like when they make the cards look like something, like a credit card or a cassette tape or something. They haven't done that with this one, but. I'm not going to complain. It's still a cool little thing. What else? 
um, the manual. Mm. 90s was a time when the most of my measly allowance got spent on silly physical things. Yes, it was for me as well. Things that glow, things that bounce, things that could chew and blow bubbles. Yes, it was for me. Stupid, you know, I used to buy a lot of lucky bags with random crap in them. Um, let's see. Okay. <laughs> it says you might have to blow in the cartridge to get it to work. Um, game summary. So you get to make your own ship. That sounds very fun. I'll have to try this game out. It actually does catch my interest a bit more than the last one. And then we can see the characters. I'm not going to read all this. Lots of weapons. I'm not a big fan of these art styles. I don't know if the whole game is like this. It's kind of neon looking art style from the look of the ship there. Um, there's a few games that have that art style. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of that look in games. I'm, I'm not sure why. Just It's just a personal thing. Aesthetically it doesn't appeal to me that much but I'm sure, you know, if it's a good game it doesn't matter whether the looks appeal to me or not. Um, let's have a look what else. I'm going to look at this last because I might have spoilers for some of the other stuff. The soundtrack. Music to build ships to. Captain Forever Remix. Saturday morning video game. Sun bright, sunlight so bright you can't hardly see it when I turn it in certain directions. I'm hoping the rest of this stuff is just a lot of craft. Oh my god, a watch! An actual watch! Okay, this is a good one. This, this, this month we've got some fucking cool stuff. Oh my god, look at that. That's like a proper actual watch. I can't show it without sunlight blasting it, but... 8.51, the time's wrong. Chuck it in the bin. Captain Forever Remix. Wow, an actual watch. Oh my god. I'm genuinely very excited by that. Um, sticker. Okay. Oh, there's just more of them things in the bottom. Alright, fine. Indie box. King Kevin rules. It's increased again. I always get bent, bent indie box sticker for some reason. And then more of these things. You can also put them on your... Ah, uh, that's what I used to do. Put them on your hand and press them and then they stick to you. And then when you take them off you have like a... Sort of hickey or something. <laughs> wow, amazing. The watch is incredible. They didn't put a lot of other stuff in, to be honest. There's usually like a bunch of stuff and it's a lot cheaper, but... A fucking watch. I don't even know if I'd wear that. I'd probably just keep it in the box and never touch it, because I'd be scared. But then I'd have to take the battery out, because... Otherwise it would corrode, eventually. And Kinda wanna wear the watch. Mmm... Not sure. So anyway, let's look at the Indie Box newsletter. How exciting. Mm-hmm. This month we're taking you back to a simpler time and place that is fondly in your childhood memories. You know what? You did. You actually did do that with those little popper things. Whatever they're called. Yeah. Saturday morning fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, collector's edition cereal box, USB cartridge, CD soundtrack, instruction manual newsletter, uh, indie box sticker, plastic poppers. Oh, they're just, they're just called poppers. <laughs> it just says, oh man, remember these? Yeah. Don't be embarrassed by the amount of time you will spend playing with these. I probably will, you know. Okay. King Kevin Scratch and Sniff, that's a scratch, is this that thing? Hold on, let's see. Yeah, it smells like bubblegum, hubba bubba. Um, 
what are those? I don't know what those ones were. Is it a hoverboard? What the ones where they were like big round pink, just bubble gum, and you've got usually like a little sticker or a cartoon with them. Bazooka Joe or something. I don't know. It smells like that. <laughs> nice. That's a nostalgic smell as well. Um. Okay, wow, well, little colouring book, colouring page. Mad Libs. <laughs> Mad Libs is not something I ever took part in when I was a kid. That must have been a, some other kid's childhood. And the crossword puzzle. Delivered funny videos and was a single father. Is it actually a cryptic crossword? Anyway, there we go, that's the Indie Box. I am actually quite interested in playing this one. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go. Um, and wow, a watch, an entire watch in my Indie Box. That is actually quite impressive. You know, I, I watch a lot of these um, loot crate unboxings and things like that. A lot of time it looks like a bunch of old crap that you get in them. Just like... I don't know, but... These these boxes you seem to get nice things like little themed badges. Not like badges like you get in the loot crate, but like metal actually sculpted metal pins and little like things that actually have something to do with the game and look like they've actually just been made for the box rather than just like promotional crap that you would get like anywhere else. I don't know. It just wow, I watch. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with the indie box so far and with the stuff you get in it. It's, it's always seems to be quite nice. Um, some months are nicer than others. This one seems to be a particularly cool one. If only for these fucking poppers, which I'd pretty much forgotten about until now. Let's give it one more pop. Ah, oh, didn't do it on my hand. <laughs> there we go. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you later.